as you come back and, and the win is in sight, special teams had a couple of, you know, uh, mistakes they usually don't make. Just how frustrating is that when you guys kind of get there and then something like that happens? It's frustrating. I don't really know what else to say. Yeah, I mean, we're. I know you guys like to see the results as far as wins and losses, but we're so close. I mean, that one right there, letting that game get away kind of hurts, but we're so close, man. Perry, how have you handled the last couple of weeks, and what was your reaction when they said grab your helmet? Um, just like I have my whole career, always getting ready to play no matter what. Um, and then they called my number, and I uh, worked my butt off during the week to get ready to play, and um, always cherish the opportunity to do that. What are your expectations moving forward about playing time? Do you have any? Uh, nope. Whatever Coach Muschamp and Coach Roper decide is what we're, what we're going to do. Hayden, you kind of touched on it with being so close, but you guys have been involved in a lot of close games and have come up short in a few of them. Just is it frustrating for both of you to see that and kind of have that win in sight and then just all that short? Yeah, I mean, like I said, we're, we're very, very close. I mean, a couple miscues on special teams, and I mean, I mean we're right there with the number nine team in the country. For either one of you guys, um, I mean, Elliot's been pretty consistent throughout his career. I mean, is, is it surprising to see him have a nine like this? and? Do you feel like you, either one of you not, needs to like pull him aside and give him any kind of encouragement after? Uh, it's football. Day? Everybody messes up. You know. On that same line, fellas, did you talk to Elliot or Mark King uh, in the locker room immediately after the game? Uh, no. Uh, they came and grabbed us and pulled us right back here as soon as we got in the locker room. So. Yeah, I didn't get to see either of those guys, but I'm sure when we walk back in, give them a little encouragement. You know, like Perry kind of said, I mean, it's football. It's a game of mistakes. I mean, everybody has their day, you know, where they're not playing great. So, I mean, like I said, it can only get better from here. Hayden, just uh, the, the blocking aspect of things. Coach Muschamp alluded to the idea that, that you're still obviously rounding into form as a player and whatnot. What are the biggest challenges for you in that aspect of the game? You know, tonight wasn't my best performance as far as blocking. I got beat inside on two third down plays. I mean, you know, I'm bit of a perfectionist that kind of hurts my pride a little bit but I'll go back to work tomorrow and get better that's all I can do and why do you think the passing game is a little more maybe better at moving it downfield with Perry in it and what does Brandon need to do to get that part of his game clicking you know that's a tough one to answer I mean I mean they both bring awesome things to the table I mean Brandon's young I mean but he's learning he's doing a heck of a job for an 18 year old I don't know if I could have done those things as an 18 year old and be that mature you know, Perry's kind of a seasoned veteran. I mean, he's been around. He's played SEC games. But they both bring tremendous things to the table. Uh, for both of you, uh, Debo and Brian Edwards were both out tonight. Just what do they bring to the offense that you guys might not have with, with them out? Um, explosive plays are big-time players. And uh, hopefully, we'll get them back for next week. Yeah, I mean, kind of to go off of what Perry said, they kind of open up the field for us. They're able to go down vertically and stretch the field. And I think that kind of helps our offense get rolling. Eric, when, uh, when you step into that situation there, I mean, what, what's the mindset of the, of the guys, especially the linemen? When you go in, you're able to march the team right down. I mean, it looked like for a while there wasn't any any energy really with that offense until you came in towards the end, and then the second half, that is. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, all the offense needs is a little spark. And, uh, you know, that's kind of my thing is throwing the ball downfield, and uh, they gave me a chance to do that. So. Has the reps in practice been any different, though, these last couple of weeks? I mean, how, how's that been? I mean, what do you No, reps? Brandon's gotten the first team, and I've gotten the second team. So, I mean, we've gotten pretty much even reps. It's just he goes with the first team. Barry, from a schematic standpoint, what were you seeing on the field that was allowing you to, to get that ball down to in terms of what they were trying to do? Uh, just, I mean, they were doing a lot of different things. Cover one, cover four. They did a little bit of Tampa 2 defense. Uh, you know, Coach Roper called the plays that beat those defenses, and when you know we watch tape all week to to see how they play their coverages, and you know you know where the weak spots are, and then when the the play is called, you just got to execute it. Thank you. All.